Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the Glow Tips channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about some common problems that you might encounter while using poly nail gel. I know how frustrating it can be when things don't go as planned, but don't worry, we're here to help. To help make things easier for you, we've divided the video into different chapters. So feel free to skip ahead to the part that you need help with, or just come back to it later when you're finished facing a specific issue. And as always, all the products that I'm using will be linked in the description box below so you can easily find them if you want to try them. Alright, so now we can dive straight into the video and start troubleshooting some problems like a pro. Here are some of the things you will need. One of the Glow Tips Poly Nail Gels, their base coat, and our dual ended brush. So the first problem that we're going to talk about today is having too much of the Poly Nail Gel. And here you can see it's very thick on the top and the bottom. So one of the things that we can actually do to avoid thick nails is through application itself. So the first thing you want to do is grab the correct size dual form and start applying a small bead of gel onto it. However, if you accidentally do put a thick layer of gel like this, make sure that you remove this before applying it to your nail and curing it. I dip the brush in some extra slip solution and I'm just putting a little bit more pressure and I'm just going to make sure that I'm removing that excess like so. Our dual form also comes with measurement lines that make it very easy for you to ensure that all your nails are the same length. Make sure to use these lines to help you apply the right amount of product. The next issue is having too much gel on the nails. When applying your dual form, if it looks something like this, it means you've probably applied way too much product which can easily be fixed by using a 100 grit to 100 grit hand file. In this video, we're going to be using the 100 grit side of the hand file just to be able to remove the product quickly. You can also use the 180 grit side of the file if you're more comfortable. You're going to want to start off by filing the edges and making sure that the product underneath the nail is nice and thin. If you need to reshape the nail completely, then definitely take this time to do so. Here I'm also focusing on the cuticle area because this is in an area which you do not want to have too much product. If the cuticle area is thick, it will lead to lifting and your nails will not last. Remember not to over file the nails as well as you do not want them to be too thin and you can also use the Glow Tips Nail Buffer to create a more even and smooth surface. Then finish with the Glow Tips No Wipe Top Coat and you want to cure this in the Glow Tips LED light for about 60 seconds. So our next issue will be to use actually too little product. If the nail is too thin, you will be able to see the nail bed and the natural nails peeking through just like here. If your nail looks like this, then you probably haven't applied enough gel. Here's a shot of me applying the gel way too thin and this is going to give you the incorrect nail structure and also very little strength to your nails. However, this can easily be fixed by just applying another layer of the gel. You just want to dip your brush in a bit of slip solution and apply a smaller bead of gel on top of the existing gel and this will give your nails a more coveted C-curve kind of shape. However, if you do apply the gel too thin to your nails, there's always a way to fix this too. After the nail is cured and you realize it's too thin, you can always go ahead and reapply some extra poly gel over the top. Simply apply more gel to the affected areas and then blend slowly towards the cured gel for a more smooth and seamless finish. When you're ready for the next step, apply your gel or your top coat and make sure to cure this under the glow tips LED light. This technique will help you to build up more thickness of the nail so it has the proper and correct structure. Make sure to double check that all the areas have been fixed and then go ahead and cure your nails. Then go ahead and shape and file and buff as normal and like I said, apply a top coat or a gel polish of your choice. The nails should be a lot thicker with the correct structure and apex and here I am applying a nice top coat to show you what the nails look like. I went ahead and cured and this is what the final nail looks like. As you can see it is a much better and significantly less thicker than before. So the next issue would be to use way too much slip solution than needed. Unfortunately using too much slip solution can cause several issues including liquefying the gel which makes it too liquid to control and the gel just happens to slide and slip around in the wrong places. This can be fixed by patting away any excess slip solution on a paper towel but also if you have too much slip solution on the gel 
allow this to evaporate before going ahead and working with your gel. If you do not allow the slip solution to evaporate before applying another layer of gel, it may get trapped between the layers. Unfortunately, this will affect the longevity of the nails. Our next problem is to apply the gel too near to the cuticle and the side walls. This risks touching the gel to the skin and as a result can cause allergic reactions. Because of this, you want to be careful not to touch any gel to the skin when applying the dual forms. If you have any excess gel touching the skin, use a brush dipped in slip solution to carefully remove it. It is recommended to maintain a gap between the gel product and the side walls. When the gel is applied too close, it can easily lift off as your nail grows, allowing the moisture and bacteria to get under the nail, which increases the risks of infection. Another issue when applying gel is that there may be some bumps and lumps on the surface of the gel. In order to solve this issue, you want to grab the glow tips buffer. This is due to some of the gels apply thicker than the rest of the area. It is crucial to rectify this before applying the gel polish, otherwise the inconsistencies will be more apparent with the colour on the nails. However, avoid overfiling the product as this may damage the gel. The goal is to achieve a really smooth surface with a very minimal to no inconsistencies. If the inconsistencies are severe or you are unhappy with the result, you may need to remove the gel completely and start over. Our poly nail gel removal video will guide you on how to remove poly nail gel without causing damage to your natural nails. The next issue is applying too much pressure when applying your dual form. Because of this, you can get an extra amount of gel squeezing out from the side and onto the cuticle area. The underside of the nail will also be bulky which means you have applied too much gel and too much pressure. A way to correct this is to make sure that the dual form fits from side wall to side wall without any gaps in between. If the dual form is too big, you can always use the glow tips hand file to file it down. Next, you want to make sure that you apply the correct amount of gel onto the dual form. Make sure this is not too much but not too little. Use the steps in the previous examples to avoid making the mistakes of applying too much gel or too little gel. Again, don't forget to use the guidelines to create your perfect length and make sure to apply the gel evenly onto the dual form. This will help to ensure a smooth and even application without air bubbles. If you get gel squeezing on the side, make sure to remove this with the brush. When placing the dual form onto the nails, make sure you use a light hand with very little pressure. Avoid using too much force as this can cause the gel to spread too much. Remember to check the underside of your nails and remove any excess gel with the brush too. For this next issue, we have a very common problem known as air bubbles. Unfortunately, when you overwork gel, it can trap and create air bubbles. This can happen if you apply too much pressure while spreading the gel or if you try to manipulate it too much. Before applying the gel, ensure the dual form and nails are clean from any residue of oils. When applying the gel, use a small amount to start with and apply it evenly to avoid creating air bubbles. If you notice air bubbles, use a toothpick or a small brush to gently pop the bubbles and cover the hole. After removing the bubble, place the dual form onto the nail and make sure to cure in the glow tips LED light for 60 seconds. Once the gel is cured, make sure to remove the dual form and check for any air bubbles. At this point, the nail should be air bubble free and you should have a nice, smooth and even surface. Something else you should do is always spread the underside out. Make sure that this is nice and thin, otherwise you will end up making this look very thick. It's always easiest to do this before curing. The next nail problem is lifting. The reason for your poly nail gel lifting is usually due to improper nail preparation or poor application technique. You will notice right after you do your nails and you might even see it happen days or weeks after your application. So the best thing you want to do is file away the extent of the lifting. If this is only a small area, you can fix it without having to remove the entire nail as I'm doing here. You can use the glow tips nail file to gently remove any lifted edges of the gel. Be careful not to file too much as this can damage your natural nails too. Once you have removed the lifted edges, clean the area with a nail cleanser and alcohol to remove any dirt, oils and residue. Next, you want to apply a thin layer of base coat to the affected area. This is going to help prepare the nails for reapplication. Then you want to apply a small fresh bead of gel to the lifted area 
and use a brush with dipped in some slip solution to gently spread it over the nail. Be careful not to apply too much pressure here as this can cause further lifting or create air bubbles. Once you are happy with the nail and your structure is all correct, you can cure the gel layer under the LED nail lamp for 60 seconds. However, if the lifting is extensive, you may need to remove the entire gel layer and start the process anew. Our last nail problem for this video is a broken nail. This could be caused by a number of day-to-day -day activities or repetitive trauma that the client isn't aware of, from opening cans to general work. You want to start by filing away the top layer of the nail. This is probably going to be the top coat layer or the gel polish layer. Next, you gently want to start filing away about 30% of the old poly nail gel. This will help the nails to be prepared for the repair. This will also help prevent the new gel nails from looking too bulky and achieve a rough nail surface for better adhesion. Next, you want to also use a nail wipe or a nail cleanser to remove any moisture, dirt or oil. This is important as we want the base coat to apply very well to the nails as well as the gel product. Once the base coat is applied, you want to cure this for about 60 seconds in the LED glow tips and nail light. Now you want to apply the gel into the door form and you want to remold your new nail to the desired length. Use this time to apply the gel correctly. Make sure it is not too thick and make sure it is not too thin. In the case where you have damaged your nail too much, we recommend removing all the gel and allow your nails to recover for a week until you can add the extension again. Next, you gently want to slide the door form onto the nails and make sure that you check the side walls as you do not want any of the gel squeezing out. Also, make sure that your cuticle area and the underside of your nails is nice and smooth too. To finish up this video, we want to give you some general tips for doing your poly gel nails at home. Firstly, remember to seal the edges of the poly nail gel with top coat to prevent any lifting or peeling over time. Another tip is that different poly nail gel colors may have slightly different consistencies. For example, our pure white poly nail gel is known for being a bit firmer and less pliable than other colors due to its more opaque pigments. The way in which you store your poly nail gel can also affect its consistency. If you have stored your poly nail gel in a cool dry place or during the winter time, it can become even firmer over time. However, if you store it in a warm place, it may become too soft. If you find that your poly nail gel is giving you a hard time to sculpt, try soaking in a tube of lukewarm water for a few minutes before using. Here I am creating a cute pink French nail art using the Glow Tips gel polishes which you can find the links to in the description box below. We want to thank you so much for tuning into this video. We genuinely hope that the tips and information we've provided were helpful in fixing your poly gel nail issues. We love creating nail related content and we're always striving to provide the best advice and tips for our viewers. If you have enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more educational content like this in the future. If you have any questions or concerns about fixing your nails, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Our team is dedicated to responding to every single question and providing you with the support you need. Once again, thank you so much for watching and being a part of our community and we can't wait to see you in the next video.